Hello and welcome to Max. It's fun time. This is Maxi, and we are back here on Stardew Valley. This is going to be the second video for today. I want to go ahead and say before we get started in this one, if you like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. If you subscribe to my channel, make sure that you hit the notification bell and as you set the notification settings in the bell, so you get notifications every time I upload a video. And you can come check it out, so if you like it. Um, that being said, today's video is going to be a spring, for your first spring video, right? So it's always kind of a debate on what crops you should grow in spring uh, your first spring not every spring I want to get that straight here just your very first spring all right you usually you well we'll get into that in a second but um there's there's lots of crops you don't want to do <laughs> all right and this is not a bundle all right this is not when you're doing the bundles you want to get specific crops this is beside that, all right? You want to do specific crops for the bundle to get the bundles done, all right? I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about straight up profit. Which crop you should grow in your first spring for straight up profit, all right? So, the contentions of this is you're not making money any other way, just off of crops, all right? Because uh, so, we, we don't want other things to devalue or or, or or do our our testing here and I've already done the test I've got them planned up already and I'm gonna just gonna switch to each one of them to show you which ones uh, were the highest profits which ones the lower profits alright so I'm gonna go ahead and start a new game here we're gonna just call this blah blah blah, blah. and blah blah blah, blah. and blah, 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 blah. There we go. Uh, random a couple times. That's fine. Skip. And uh, for the purposes of this video, we did the standard farm. So that's fine. We'll skip the intro. Go ahead and go into the game here. Get that music off. Now, for the purpose of this video, it is not about how much you can possibly plant, all right? You're not going to be able to water a whole crap ton of actual crops, all right? All right? I'm just going to tell you that. So, if you're planning on doing a straight-up money run and growing and getting as much money as you possibly can in your first spring from crops, um, and just crops... Um, you're going to need some food, all right? <laughs> the mind does not take account the energy that you expend to get the crops going. Now, if you're using the tractor mod, you don't expend any energy because you don't use energy while you're on the tractor. If you're not using the tractor mod, you're going to need food, all right? You're probably going to have to go around and forage and use most of your foraging stuff to, for food so you can water your crops, all right? Just to be notified, just so you understand that, or um, try to get friends with um, the uh, hermit from from the mountains as quick as possible. He'll send you the sushi recipe. Fish, change it all to sushi. And sushi is a great gift for uh, most of the villagers anyway. So just fish, change most of the sushi. Oh, and uh, there's specific locations that you'll get like the low level fish anyway. Just fish there, get the sushi. Uh, sell the higher uh, gold fish and then just use that to uh, um, farm with and, and you want to fish on days where you're you're it's raining so you don't have to water you want to fish on those days uh, you can also make sure that you do all your foraging of the uh, berries during the berry seasons all right just just be mindful of that I'm gonna, set up my settings again like I always do I need to start doing this before I put the video on there we go and that should do it and uh, I'm gonna just use these basic bare-bone tools here for this video because all I'm showing you is what you're starting out with alright so you start out with 500 gold and every single one of my farms I started out with 500 gold and I came over here and I picked up these seeds. Now, do not sell these seeds here. 
do not sell these seeds here unless it's 150 gold all right um, unless you want a few more cauliflower all right if you want a few more cauliflower go ahead and sell these seeds and get a few more cauliflower seeds that will help you out all right um, in every other case plant these seeds and grow them all right you're also going to also going to take the 500 and I'll show you let's go ahead and go out of here I don't know if I want to wait though <laughs> uh, so this is what I do every time actually I clear off some space here so I clear I, I spawn the tractor in and I clear up the entire area there and then by then it's it's like nine o'clock or something it's usually around 12, 1, 2 o'clock, depending on how fast it takes. And then I come over to here. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and take, take this time to, uh, ooh, cookies, check the trash cans. Why we're waiting? Might as well. I'm not keeping this game safe. I'm gonna be deleting this as soon as I'm done with these videos. This is just to show you how I start. Ooh, bread. That's actually pretty good too. Um, definitely, definitely check the trash cans if you're doing uh, the money start, making as much money as you can in the first spring. Um, and, and basically, I can check the other two trash cans. We might as well, since we're waiting. So there's no point just waiting here. You can come down here and gather the uh, things too when you when you're having to wait for uh, seeds. Uh, the biggest thing is like if you're doing in these videos, I'm not doing anything else. I'm just growing crops. So all I do is water, and then I go to sleep. And then I water and go to sleep. And then when the crops come up, I I take them into town and sell them unless it's like a festival day that day in which case I go ahead and sell the crops in the uh, the the uh, in the the bin and then here's the new trash can that they put up here there's a box there too but there's no way of clicking on it hmm and now yeah that, that actually worked out perfectly. Now it's 9 o'clock. So we come in here. And these are the seeds. Now, uh, I did not do green beans. All right. I also did not do the turnip, the tulips, or the jazz seeds. Uh, they're not conducive for the first spring. They don't make that much profit. Um, as you can see, both the potatoes and also the kale um, both do six days and they sell for a lot more than the tulips and the jazz does. You don't make that much profit. It's like 10, 15 each time. If you want to try the tulips, go for it. But for, for, for what I could see, it was the, there was no point for this, these two. Also, I did not test any seed that you wasn't able to buy in your first spring that includes coffee because you can't get it unless you go to the mines and get it or you buy it from the black the black market dude uh, the merchant guy that comes um, so I only did parsnips cauliflower potatoes and kale all right those are the only ones that you can get in the first spring so that's the only ones that's relevant for your first spring and how much money you can make in the first spring all right so that's what I did. Uh, I don't actually need to even go anywhere. Right now we're going to go back to the main title screen. And we're going to load game. And from here I'm going to go ahead and show you. Based on those things I went ahead and ran out. We can actually go ahead and just delete this one. Uh, I went ahead and... Now this says cabbage. Uh, and I spelled cabbage wrong. Uh but that's cauliflower and this one says tester but I, I decided to name them after with the crop after I did the first one this one is actually parsnips um, so the the one that made the least amount you can see right here 
the cabbage farm now as you can see for the days that I stopped it on the days I actually made the money so some of these are the 27 some of these are on the summer um, with the cabbage one specifically the cabbage one specifically um, it's 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 really not conducive you really need to do to make as much money in spring as you possibly can you really need a lot of money at the beginning of spring and then plant a crap ton of cabbages I will give you tips um, definitely I definitely did plant for cabbages I went ahead and planted the parsnips and then I also planted any of the um, uh, wild seeds that I got from slicing the uh, shrubs the weeds up I went ahead and planted those too. You need as much money you, as you can get for your second harvest. All right. So if you're doing other stuff in the game, your your second harvest of cabbage could be a lot better. Also, your second harvest of cabbage, I would wait to harvest it until the last day, and go ahead and keep watering it. You so you get the chance for the uh, unless they changed it. I didn't. I know they changed um, the how symmetrical the spawns of the mega crop is. I don't think they changed how it actually spawns. But anyway, uh, leave those planted and make sure you plant those in, in, in the three wide sections so that you get as much uh, spawnage as you can instead of the way I, I told you to do it. Make sure you, that you're only doing three wide plantings of them. And uh, you won't get that many. I think maybe my second planting was 30 or something like that. Uh, I don't even know if it was that much and as you can see I only made 7,000 and that is just growing cabbage harvesting them selling them buying more cabbage seeds and then selling them again and the problem is with cabbage you only get two it's 13 days to grow you only get two harvest out of that all right uh, what came in second was kale um, and I think the main problem with kale well actually kale came in last uh, I think the problem with kale is um, it's not multi-harvest and the seeds are way more the seeds cost way more than potatoes so um, that's how I made so much less with that than I did potatoes even though they actually both take six days to grow but that that was the last the cabbage came in second um, potatoes uh, I made 16,000 here. Um, if again, it's the first spring thing that gets you in this in this this calculation here. So you don't start out with that much, so you don't you can't start out with that much. You understand what I'm saying? You can't start out with that many seeds. If you hadn't if you had money at the beginning of the spring, these calculations would be completely different. But just for your first spring here, uh, potatoes came in second with 16,375 now I these I'm gonna go into these in a second to show you uh, the stats that that I got farming wise but I, I, this is a better comparison to show you here on the screen here and the first place winner was parsnips and and the it's 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 single bulk dude you can after after your third harvest if you just invest if you harvest, invest in seeds, harvest, invest in seeds. Once you get to your third or fourth harvest, you grow in a crap ton of parsnips. Just grow in a crap ton. And and and, and if, if you're using the tractor mod, you don't have to worry about energy. So um, if you're not using tractor mod, this number is probably going to be less because this is not taking into account energy cost of these. But totally based based on based on my testing, the in spring growing parsnips money wise growing parsnips harvesting them selling them buying as many seeds as you can buy with that and then growing more parsnips will give you the most money by the end of your first spring than any other crop now the second spring is is void for this because the second spring you're gonna have as much money as you want because you've had a whole year to prepare for your first spring your second spring Right, and any other spring after that. Um, I do want to do some testing on um, doing a full year playthrough and then starting that first spring with um, green beans instead of any other crop. I want to see how much money I can make 
just growing green beans. The problem with that is the setup that I use to grow with is not conducive to green beans because they're on a pole. So I'd have to change that. I think I would just leave that that strip, the middle strip out, because it's like it's. I think that won't work, will it? No. Actually, it would because I can harvest from the tractor. Yeah, so I just leave that middle strip out and be three wide on top, three wide on the bottom, and then you can plant from the tractor. So you wouldn't have to worry about the poles going into the middle. That would require you to actually manually go and take out that middle one, or even better, put the path down first. Put a path down first, drive on the path, and then your tractor will um, um, hoe on both sides, but not hoe up the path, I believe. Anyway, so that's what happened here. I'm going to go starting starting with the kale here. And we have farming four and almost five, almost five there, but not quite. It's like just a smidgen of a bar, but four is what we had on this one. Let's go back to the title screen. Load. This might mess up my, my computer a little bit. Hopefully not. Uh, the second one was the cauliflower. Now I'm showing you the amount of XP that you got based on how many you grow. All right, and it was 100% grow, harvest, grow, harvest, grow, harvest, and then sell your crops after each time. And you can't just save the crops up to the end because, for the purpose of the video, I didn't spawn any money in. All right, there was no extra money spawned in to buy seeds, so I only had that 500. And you have to sell the product to get the other product to get to get more seeds. So, so I just sell and seed. Um, I will say about halfway through you can make a bunch more money with uh, parsnips because you uh, we'll, we'll get to that in a second anyway uh, this is four and, and it's 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 barely two bars barely two bars there four and barely two bars let's go into potatoes now if you want to know how much XP you get from each crop you can go on the wiki and look that up the wiki has the uh, actual calculation for each individual crop and how much XP you get per crop from harvesting it go to load again go into potatoes six potatoes gave six all right and in and, and about three and a half bars there so that's actually pretty good that that out this allows you to actually uh, I think I got six with the last crop so it allows you to actually um, you can actually wait to sell them, go to the next day, get the 10% increase, and then sell your crops for the increased money. It'll give you a little bit more than what I had here, but six whole total for here. And uh, uh, title screen. Let's go to the parsnips and check that out. maxed 10 maxed and I'll, t I'll be honest with you um you could you could totally hook up you some um oh my god i can't think of the name of them preserve jars it's just wood stone and coal all that you get off clearing your farm uh you set these up somewhere and uh every day wake up go fill the jars back up sleep two days to fill the jars back up and then harvest your parsnips for the rest of, of spring um, you're gonna make so much more money than this this is just selling the raw crop but but if you if and you unlock parsnips pretty early pretty early about halfway through spring you'll have the the ability to do preserve jars so um, just so much more growing growing parts and I grew a crap ton I mean a lot so like if you're doing this without the tractor mod um, you're gonna need a lot of energy a lot of energy so so this might be a little bit less because after your first couple of crops you might want to grab you some like salads or bread or something just to have stuff to eat to get your energy back to water 
but um, but it's still almost fifty thousand. That's amazing, just off of parsnips, and it's 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 because you can grow so many of them in spring. They only it only takes four days to grow, and then you can harvest, and you get so much more of them. And the cheap, the seeds are super cheap, so both of those combined means that you can grow so much more of those on your first spring than any other crop, just based on uh, how much seeds you can buy and grow versus how much seeds of the other seeds cost. I mean, they're really expensive. They're really expensive, the other seeds are. So, I'm really interested about the flowers. Um, I might take, I might take some time today and do the flowers just, just as a heck with it. But, uh, so first spring, definitely on your first spring, if you're just worried about making money, uh, and, and of course you're going to be going around and mining and fishing and all that kind of stuff. So you're going to be able to buy other seeds, but if you're just worried about money, investing your first spring in parsnips and growing them all season long and just parsnips uh, is, is the way to go to make money in spring. Um, and I, I would like to compare cabbage and parsnips. I, re I really would because you can grow three, I think, three crops of parsnips, if I'm not mistaken. Two or three crops of parsnips in the same amount of time you can grow one cabbage. The cabbage takes 13 days. <sighs> I don't know. That would be something for the uh, testing to do. Anyway, guys, if you like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. If you subscribe to my channel, I'll send you notifications when I have new videos out. You guys can come check it out, see if you like it. If you do like this episode and you want to share it with your friends, tell them what. Share it with your friends, tell them. Tell me how much you like the share tab down below. Click on the share tab. Copy the link. Post it in your Facebook, Twitter, reviews, social media. If you need tips, tricks, or comments, put it down in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on social media pages. Don't forget to set your notification settings on the channel using the notification bell. I will add a couple of things. If you are doing cabbages, if you're doing the first spring thing just to see how much money you can make in your first spring and then plan the rest of the year, um as you would normally play it. Um, if you're going to do cabbages, I would definitely do the forest map. And the reason why is because the forest map has the option of spawning, um, uh, foraging items on the actual farm. And that extra bit of farming uh, foraging items could uh, um, allow you to buy so much more cabbage because I just used the 500 I didn't go around gathering up things and selling those I just used the 500 gold you're totally going to be able to go around and forage and sell those foraging items um, and buy more seeds so doing that and buying more seeds for cabbages specifically or one of the other ones potatoes would probably be a good one to, to start out with a, a bunch more um, but you don't have to worry about that if you're going to do uh, parsnips or something like that. Uh, but just just a little note, if you're going to do cabbages, definitely start on the forest farm, so you can get that much more that much more gold out of it. Uh, you might want to take your time and go to the beach, and just take your hoe with you and then mine up, like see if you can get some clay and sell that, and uh, see if you can make some money that way to get some extra seeds, and th to boost your cabbage up. Just a couple of ideas for the cabbage thing. Uh, but parsnips just blew everything out of the water. So that's all I got for today, guys. I'll see you guys later.